I'm still just thinking about the service we had this last Sunday and Pastor taught on the overflow. And just thinking about how much God loves us. And the end of the verse that he, uh, one of the verses he used in John 10 and 10 says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. He didn't come to see us just scrape through. Uh, he came to give us a better way and to uh, fulfill every promise that's in his book. And uh, he's amazing. And I just felt like I needed to remind us of that as we find ourselves in the times we're in, that we just need to take a little bit of time every day and just uh, remember how much he loves us and tell him how much we love him. Uh, John 3.16, which we know so well, says, God so loved the world that he gave his only son, whosoever believes on him shall not perish, but have eternal life. He came that um, we don't have to die. We live for him. We're going to, this isn't it. It's not over here. We're going to live with him forever. Not only did he do those things, but he has a plan for our lives. Jeremiah 29 and 11, and again, this is a verse I know that is quoted and quoted. It says, I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. That even when everything we see going on around us, stop and think about what we saw Sunday morning. We saw a brand new baby being dedicated, parents making a commitment to nurture and raise that child in the ways of the Lord, knowing the Lord. Uh, we all made it to church. I think we all had something to eat. We had a car to arrive in or a way to get to church. Someone made a way. And then on top of all that, he came in in a big and mighty way and just flooded us with his presence and his mercy and his grace. And so I just want to take a little time tonight and tell him how much we love him. So won't you join me and uh, let's pray and thank him for what he's done and for what he's doing. Lord, you are amazing. You're amazing. There aren't enough words to tell you, God, how amazing you are and how good you've been to us, Lord. We just want to thank you and praise you tonight for your mercy and your grace and your presence. Thank you for your word that we can count on, God. Thank you for your presence that we can count on. Thank you for being there, Lord, in the morning when we wake up at night, when we lay our head on the bed pillow. Thank you for your love and your mercy and your grace. And I know I've said that, but you're amazing, Lord. You're truly amazing, Lord. I love you. I love you. I want you to know that tonight, Lord Jesus. Continue to lead your body, God. We're listening. We're listening. And we want to just pour out our love on you tonight, Lord. We could never do enough. We know we can't earn your love, God. Your love is unconditional. No matter what we do, you still love us. You're still there. And I'm so grateful and so thankful, Lord. You're amazing, Lord. I thank you for all that you do and all that you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, why don't you spend a little time with the lover of your soul?
see you all uh, this week in service. Uh, and uh, looking forward to seeing what the Lord has in store. He's amazing. Love you.